Thanks. I haven't said anything yet. That's pretty cool. <laughs> right. Uh, like she said, I'm Sandra Coleman. I'm from Paintsville High School. And I'm glad to know there's another art teacher here in this session because uh, what I'm going to talk about, he will totally get because this struggle is real. It sounds trivial, but putting up artwork, displaying artwork is like one of your, I don't know, hardships of the day or something. You want to display everything. Uh, you have limited wall space. Um, I've tried uh, putting it up on those little wall strips, those little cork wall strips that you get. And so you end up having to put staple holes. And, and then here I'm walking around like this all the time, trying to hold it. And if you see my poster downstairs, I've dropped things. Uh, I've put stuff up with command strips, which, you know, are expensive. And then with like the clothespin thing. And then I came in the next day, <laughs> They were all falling down. And I, I did the alcohol thing and all that kind of stuff, but I don't know. So um, that was one of my proposals was that it's time consuming. It, um, I try to send other students out to put it up and then, you know, it's crooked, which bothers me. Or they staple things in the wrong spot. I've tried using tape on the glass uh, windows. I've, I've tried all kinds of things. Uh, the worst, the very worst thing is, and now I made a copy of this. This was, <laughs> I didn't do this to, you know, it gets defaced. People think it's cute to draw mustaches or uh, horns or stuff like that on your artwork. So these are all things that I'm always dealing with. So I was trying to think with this grant what I could do and I thought, hmm, let's try to display it digitally. Uh, I could have students, I, I asked for an iPad so I could take pictures. I could take pictures of kids working on artwork, but I could also take pictures of the finished product, which kind of gives me an archive of stuff where, you know, they take it home, but yet I still have it on uh, the disc or we can put it on our website for people to access. Um, I think it would make students a little more accountable because I get this question a lot. Miss Coleman, is this good enough? Which I'm like, hmm, you know, everybody has a different opinion of what's good enough. And the other thing is where my art room is located and the whole wall space that I usually try to display is um, during ball games, it's gated off. So no parents, no administration, nobody ever sees what we do during after hours. And so I thought, well, during the ball games and things, I've asked for like a 50 inch TV that's gonna be placed out near the, where the gymnasium is and the cafeteria. And then I asked for an Apple TV and the little mini iPad. And so I'm going to have students help take the pictures so that I'm not always, I'll still display stuff in the hallway because I think that's necessary, but maybe not so much of it. Plus, I think it would hold kids accountable. And you know how it is when we make parents proud when they're seeing their kids stuff up. And I think it might, you know, some people, to me, art's very important because we are relying so much on our technology and I'm not dishing technology or our phones or anything but kids need to use their critical thinking skills to do hands-on projects and I have some students walk in and go oh this is my favorite place to be because I can just be me I'm not you know I can just do what I want to do my artwork, I can relax, sometimes I play music, and so I want them to be in a nice relaxed atmosphere because it seems like kids today are being pushed to do so much more that sometimes they just need a place to just kind of like a little sanctuary to hang out. And so I'm hoping that when I come back in April or whenever it is, um, that I have good success stories and that it worked. Once we figure out where to place the TV, I think I have a good spot for it, and I think it'll be exciting. So good luck to me, I guess. <laughs> Thank you.
this is me most of the time.